So once the beans are cracked and winnowed, the nibs, which is the meat of the bean, goes into the grinder. Two big stone wheels in it, and it just spins around and around and grinds those nibs into a liquid called cocoa liqueur. To that, I add sugar, and that's all that my chocolate is, just cocoa beans and sugar, and that's what's in here right now. The ingredients may be simple, but making a good craft chocolate is anything but. What you're eating is the result of a chocolate maker's creative choices. Um, how they process the cacao, how they roast it, how they grind it, um, how they conch it, how they do all of these uh, myriad things that uh, go into the flavor of the chocolate. Um, so my chocolate is a direct expression of my taste and my creative process, um, which is distinct from other people's, um, even if we use similar equipment. For Ben Rasmussen, his chocolate love started about eight years ago when he tasted a sample of gourmet dark chocolate. He said he fell in love with it instantly, and he started learning to make it by himself. I learned how to make it just through uh, the internet and through trial and error and kind of teaching myself, um, reading old books, study, uh, and just doing it. Um, got some, some used equipment and started messing around with it, uh, fell in love with the process, and that's basically how I started. In very short order, his company, Potomac Chocolate, was born. The bar from that first batch of chocolate he made in his kitchen was a finalist in that year's Good Food Awards, which is based out of San Francisco. Um, that bar also won an Academy of Chocolate Awards in 2011. I've won a couple of Academy of Chocolate Awards and a few International Chocolate Awards for, for different bars. Winning those awards led to a high demand for his chocolate, and soon he moved his production out of his kitchen and to his basement where he makes the chocolate now. Rasmussen also has built most of his own equipment by himself, but chocolate making is not his full-time job. I'm a Linux systems administrator, a computer nerd, um, and uh, keeps me busy, so, so finding out how to balance the, the work of my day job and chocolate is a real struggle, and, uh, especially considering the fact that I've got a family, four kids, uh, so I'm, I'm a busy guy. The busy guy makes about 140 kilos of chocolate every couple of weeks and sells them online and in high-end gourmet specialty stores. The craft chocolate market is really exploding, and I make all of the chocolate myself. Uh, so it's a very small company, but uh, it continues to grow. Every year has been better than the year before, um, and last year uh, was the best by far. Rasmussen says he constantly strives to be better today than he was yesterday, and to make the best chocolate he can. For producer June So, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington.